Okay, this is lesson two, uh, where we'll be covering the downwards figure eight and the upwards figure eight. Again, uh, you'll need to be able to do that basic flourish, if you want to call it a flourish. Uh, you'll need to be able to do that smoothly and confidently. So, I mean, it's okay if you drop the saber here or there. Um, but as long as you're not trying to do it fast, or the thing's going to go flying out of your hands, um, you need to be able to control that so it's not going to hit you on the rebound. So, again, this is a very basic move. Uh, it's only slightly different than the basic flourish. All you're doing is adding a crossover across your body. So, you're going to take your basic, which is here. When you come back to the front, you go to the other side. So basic, be great. Now in this, as I come to this side, I'm not really letting go with these three fingers. I'm not loosening my grip as much as I am on this side. Because on this side, your wrist uh, really needs to break more as opposed to this side. This side, it's mainly controlled with the forearm. So wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm. Does this help, especially if you're using a heavier saber to turn your uh, torso more for this? So wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm. And this is where the um, that pumping action from the TPLA comes in. Because uh, if you take those, those major orbits, especially with the turning of the body, this is where this comes in a lot. And they tighten it. That's where that comes in. Um, really, the wrist plays a pretty major role at least on this side. This side, again, I said it's the forearm that you're mainly controlling it with. So from the side, vantage point here, wrist, forearm, okay? Wrist, forearm. You can tighten it up a bit to use the wrist more on both sides. And the advantage of that is it actually keeps it closer to your body. As opposed to using the forearm more. Now I can almost keep this thing right in front of me. I'm just using the wrist. So, again, practice slow. Build the coordination. like that. Uh, especially if you have a heavier hilt, this is really going to build, not a lot of muscle, but it, it'll build, you know, a little bit of bicep, definitely wrist strength. Uh, and that's the downward figure eight. The upward, same concept. Again, you'll need to know that basic flourish, be able to do that smoothly. Because this, we're just going to add, again, you're using forearm to control on the other side. So wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm, okay? That's this side. Wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm. Again, uh, when, you get, when you get comfortable with that, you can add more wrists on this side. You can see my forearm is staying relatively straight. And the majority of that movement, I don't know if you saw that. The majority of that movement is controlled with the thumb and in, in the uh, index finger. The other three fingers are just there to 
melee control to control the hill and make sure it doesn't fly out of your hands. Okay. Again, uh, when you get it perfected on one side, switch to the other side. Wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm, wrist, forearm. Okay, upwards and downwards. Okay. So those are the upwards and the downwards figure eight. Again, a very basic move. One that'll come in handy for a lot of the more advanced moves as well. So be sure you get the coordination down for that basic and then the figure eight. Okay? And those are the figure eights. I will see you in lesson three.